all-star game this year is, of course, right here in New York at City Field, which means the city will also have all the surrounding events, like the All-Star Fan Fest, which is at the Javits Center from July 12th to the 16th. Several former big league stars, including former Met Edgardo Alfonso, will be there and on hand. And Edgardo is nice enough to join us in studio to talk about it and some baseball. It's good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thank you, guys. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. All right. Got to ask, what did you think, first of all, about Zach Wheeler last night? Uh, who's the guy? <laughs> no, he's doing pretty good. He, I think he did pretty good with, uh, with first star. Um, he handles himself pretty good on the mound. Uh, I think it's going to be interesting to watch this guy uh, besides with, uh, with the Harveys. I think it's going to be uh, the one or two guys who can uh, change a little bit about what's going on with the Mets right now. When you were playing and you saw a young kid come up and have a good game, how did you, how did you know whether it was just one day or whether it was going to continue on? Well, the first day is the, always going to be the pressure one. You, you get nervous and you want to prove that you can be you can be there. And uh, if you're doing good, definitely you know you you, you know you uh, uh, good start. And then uh, I think it's going to be great. I mean, it's, it's good because you already got that out of the way. So uh, that's what he did yesterday. And hopefully next start do much better. And then you know just 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 to uh, to get that confidence. Ed Garter, you touched upon, I mean, you look at Wheeler last night, obviously Harvey has been very good in his 24 major league starts. You were here when the Mets were winning and playing well and playing well at the end of the season, going into October. Could this be the sign, a turning point for this organization of good things to come with these two starters? I, I will say, I will say yes. I will say because, uh, you know, um, to be, to have a, two guys uh, good in, 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 in the whole team, I mean, the pitchers especially because the pitchers, is you win or lose. They set I mean, the tone, right? Yeah, the, pretty much you win with the 90% is all of pitching. And then as a, as a player, when this guy is in the mount, you play behind those guys and you say, wow, you know, it's fun. I mean, I don't say, I don't say with the other guys it's not fun, but right. you know, you see the guys who, who's dominated, the guy who knows how to pitch and talk about Harvey, the, the guy who's, uh, you know, he's throw hard, but he know when, when to move the ball around. Uh, Wheeler's probably is going to be the same thing. He throw 96 miles an hour fastball, so it's which good. And then, and then I think it's they, 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 I think it's time to build a team around those guy, you know. And um, it's, uh, you know, it's gonna. I don't know if it's gonna be next year uh, or two years from now, but I think they go in the right right direction to to get the team the way it's supposed to. Uh, late 90s and you know 2000 when we went to the World Series. Speaking of 2000 and 2000 in Atlanta, you were in the All-Star game. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you, do players take it that seriously, or did they take it seriously when you were in it? Uh, I would say if you have more than five All-Star games, I don't know if they, they're going to take it serious. But uh, to me, I think it's an important dream. Uh, every time when, you, when you, have a, uh, you sign a professional contract, you play in the big leagues, your dream is to play in the All-Star game and go into the World Series. To me, I will take it serious because uh, fans voting for you to push you in there and uh, to, to, they want to watch in the best of, of each player. And then uh, definitely you have to take it serious. I don't know how many guys, they don't really thinking about this, how important is the All-Star game. But to me, I think it's, uh, it's very important, you know, because the fans want to see the best of you, the uh, best of uh, the team, they, they, they want you get voting for them. And then what did you have, you have to do? Just try to give it the best to the fans mm. and then uh, take it serious and try to win. Every time I see you or hear about you, I always think about that 1999 Sports Illustrated cover, the greatest infield in history of you, Olerud, Ventura, and uh, Ray Ordonez. Yes. And I, first of all, I, I want. It is, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Do you have a, Do you have a copy of that in your house, oh, framed a, on your wall or something? I have about about three three copies of that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's first of all. It turned out to be it was the greatest infield in history because I, I looked it up. You guys had only 27 errors combined that year, which is the all-time fewest errors by any infield in history. 